Well, it's the Cadillac Provoke fuel cell concept. Uh, we debuted it in Detroit and brought it here to Geneva. It's really the next generation of General Motors and Cadillac's commitment to the environment. It takes our E-Flex architecture that we've shown on a, a number of different models and puts it on a smaller crossover kind of uh, architecture or body style and uses a hydrogen fuel cell. So as you can see, there's a lot of Cadillac design cues throughout the design, whether it's the rear end with vertical tail lamps to the front end that really shows the next generation of our Cadillac architecture, which we debuted on the CTS. So it kind of takes it to the next level. And I think what, what the designers did a great job of is take a fuel cell architecture that's very advanced technology and put it on something like a small and mid-sized crossover that's two row, very conventional, very user friendly for the customer. So I think you know what you can see on this is our direction of trying to have a large SUV like Escalade, then a middle SRX type vehicle, and then something slotted below that. So I think there's, there's benefits of having it on this architecture, but really show future technology, but something that can be on a, a very traditional architecture. Well, what you, what you see behind me is our Cadillac CTS Coupe concept. And really, what you get here is when you let designers have an imagination and creativity, they create something as inspiring and as beautiful as this vehicle. Uh, it's based on our CTS sedan, which we recently launched in the marketplace. But the designers took a unique approach in that everything from the A-pillar back is unique. So the coupe is lower, it's shorter, it has all unique rear end treatment. So again, keeping with the vertical headlamp treat or tail lamp treatments that are very indicative of, of a Cadillac to the sweep in the rear really makes this vehicle um, unique, different, but what we think just very beautiful. Um, it's a concept that we're studying very hard. Um, we hope that the reaction in both Detroit and then here in Geneva um, will give us the impetus to put this into production because, again, um, we think there's a very, mar it's very individualistic. Uh, the interior has hand-stitched leather, you know, yellow accents to really bring the individuality of the, the customer that they had in mind for this vehicle.